Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So today is in fact Tuesday. I want to start weekly vlogging or at least vlogging this week because there's a lot of... Oops, I'm just knocking everything off in my shelf. I basically want to do a weekly vlog this week because I'm doing quite a few things. So I thought I'd vlog. I didn't actually start vlogging yesterday just because I didn't really do much but today I'm not really doing much as well. But I was like, why did I not start yesterday? Mm, this bread's moldy. If I pick the mold off, then it's not moldy anymore. Ew, it has like actual black things on it, like tiny little mold bugs. <gasps> oh my God. Yep, never mind. <gasps> oh, well that's really my plans. There's one single piece out of the full pack that has mold on it as well. Never mind. I really wanted to have beans and toast. I actually am just going to have a bowl of beans because like what else am I meant to have at this point, you know? I don't want cereal, so I guess it's just a bowl of beans. I always get hit on the fact that I have beans with the little sausages in, but these are my favourite ones. <laughs> so... Right, I've literally just got out of the shower, ignore my hair, I'm about to sit and eat my lovely meal of beans and sausages. Mmm, which has gone slightly cold. Anyway, I thought I'd sit here and catch you up on my life. As I'm sure most of you are aware, I'm currently at uni. I've literally just gone back into my third year, so it's like the last year of uni. Um, hmm. The workload is intense and I haven't done any of it. I haven't had time to do any of it. I've been so stressed, which is why I've been slacking with YouTube. I'm pretty much working full time. In fact, I am working full time as a video editor. I'm obviously trying to juggle that alongside my own stuff and my own YouTube channels and my Instagram and all the stuff that's revolving that. And then obviously I've got uni to juggle and stuff and it's just proving to be a lot. And I also I'm in a place with my main channel and stuff where I don't really know what the fuck I want to do. I go through stages like this all the time, but more so now than ever before, I'm just a bit like, what is it I want to create? I've been struggling with that and I think because I overthink everything way too much and because I'm a perfectionist I'm doing everyone else's stuff and doing everyone else's stuff so great Well, not like me doing it so great But everyone else is doing so great and the stuff that I'm editing is really really cool that when it comes to my own stuff I'm a bit like mm, what's really gonna fulfill me at this point, you know So yeah, that's where I've been at with YouTube and stuff. I'm literally so unbelievably busy I need to start doing my uni work I've literally got four weeks until I need to hand in a project and I literally have been to one lecture because I've had no time whatsoever obviously just come back from Paris something super super exciting revolving me Aaron has is gonna be happening really really soon so I've been in meetings and stuff for that everything's just got so busy all at once and it's like every one of my friends birthdays so I started uni two weeks ago the first week I went um went to all my lectures second week I was in Paris for that entire week this week that we're in now I can go to most lectures however I'm gonna have to dip early tomorrow because I've got an event and then I've got an event on the Wednesday as well then on the Friday we're going out for Anna's birthday but I don't have uni on Fridays anyway Saturday I'm traveling back up to Sheffield because it's my mum's birthday and Ella's 21st. Saturday evening when I get into Sheffield, going straight to Leeds to celebrate Ella's birthday. Coming back, spending the night at home, then it's my mum's birthday, we're going to see James Arthur and then it's Ella's birthday, going out for a meal with Ella and her family. Thursday I'm travelling back down to London and then the Friday is Tully's farm and I just think like when the hell is uni fitting into all this stuff, you know? So I'm currently having like a little malfunction in my brain. My brain's finding it really hard to process all this information. So that's fun. Loving that part of my life. Just had a lot going on, you know? I just got a knock at the door, my ASOS parcel just arrived, but it's arrived like this, like the box is literally open and in here is literally like majority of the order is sunglasses. Anything could have fallen out of here, like what the hell am I meant to do if something has actually fallen out? Like dead ass, you can see straight through the box. This vlog's probably going to go up after Anna's birthday and even if it doesn't, I doubt she's going to watch it straight away. So we got this card for Anna for her birthday. I say we, I mean me and has because basically we're going to surprise her with Billie Eilish tickets. She doesn't know that we've got tickets. I told her that we couldn't get her. So I'm gonna, we're going to surprise her with Billie Eilish tickets and this is sort of like a clue but also it's a cute card so pick this up for Anna. The next thing I'm not really too sure on, like I was looking at it online for a while I thought it looked really really cool on the model and the other day actually I said to Haz when we were going to a party, I was like oh my god a neckerchief or something around my neck would look so cool with this outfit. So I saw this neckerchief on ASOS, obviously it's in Thai things from ASOS. I don't really know how I'd style it. I saw a lot of people at Fashion Week wearing these as well, just like... Obviously this is not going to be styled that great. Just like a little neckerchief moment. And I also wanted one for when I were in Paris as well, I thought. It was very Parisian and very cool. I saw a boy in a club wearing one. I was like, oh, don't know if that's cool or not. We'll have to figure out how to put it on, but maybe this will be cool. I picked up a few pairs of glasses as well, just because I've been wearing glasses so much lately. Whether that's on my head, on my hat, or literally just on my eyes. So I picked up this pair, which are my favourite pair actually. I think these are so, so cool. So these are by the brand Lispec. It's a French brand and I saw so so many people wearing these glasses in Paris. 
So I came back, searched the brand, saw that they were stocked on ASOS and these were actually on sale and we're like, oh, these are so fucking cool. I don't know if they're gonna suit me, but these are just some light blue, like turquoise glasses. I think these are so, so fun. I thought that the glass were a lot more tinted than it actually is. I think these are so cool. Oh wow, I actually really like these. I just think some cool glasses make an outfit look so much more fun. Like, when in Paris. All right, so this next pair of glasses I'm actually gonna buy in Topshop. The Key Australia, or Quay Australia, I think it's Key. But these were like 40 pounds in Topshop. I tried them on, we're like, oh my God, they're so fun. Looked at the price tag, I'm like, mm, no, thank you. But I saw them on sale on ASOS for like 18 pounds. So I thought I'd pick them up. Again, it's a different color of sunglasses. I only currently own black sunglasses, purple sunglasses, and like cow print. So I wanted to just expand my sunglasses range. They're more as like an accessory than actual practicality. But these are just some red ones. I think it's Paul Klein that I saw wearing sunglasses like this. And I thought, oh my God, they look so cool. But I think there's, I think his glasses are actually prescription like red frames. So I thought I'd pick some up myself and just see if I can make them look cool. I feel like these are fun. Just for like a cool outfit pick like uh. Moving on to actual clothes now. So in Paris, again, I feel like literally went to Paris, saw so many cool people. Wanted to dress like absolutely everyone there. So I literally picked up the most Parisian outfit and accessories I could possibly find. But I'm loving it. I think everyone in Paris is so fashion forward and cool. And we were in a club one night. I mean, the only night that we were in a club. And this guy came on, he was wearing a beret and then he had a cardigan with nothing underneath, literally shirtless with a cardigan over the top and some white dickies. And I thought he looked so, so cool. So I'm not gonna wear it shirtless just because I don't have the body for that. But I then went on ASOS afterwards and saw this by the brand Collusion. Now I think Collusion's such a cool brand anyway. And I don't own any sort of cardigan. I've been really trying to, you know, throw it out there with my fashion sense lately. Magnus Ronin always wears cardigans like this as well. And I think he's really, really cool. So I picked this one up. It's just like a blue and black chunky knit moment striped, as you can see. I don't know if it's gonna make me look super gothy and weird or if it's actually gonna look cool So I'm gonna try this on see what I think and then last but not least I've been wanting this t-shirt for such a long time I would debate in between the black one and this one I literally go in the shop every single time I'm in Soho head in there But I didn't want to pay full price because I think full price these are like 80 pounds and they don't offer student discount in the store So ASOS have recently just started stocking them. These are the Fluoriche tops now Like I said, they're like 80 pounds to buy from the store Which I didn't want to spend 80 pounds on a t-shirt So when I saw that I could get my student discount Discount on ASOS, I let you know what, 10% off, why not? It's still expensive for a t-shirt, but it's better than what I was gonna pay full price. So, I'm excited about this. Right, this is the Fleur Ricci top. I really, really like it. However, I do feel like it fits like perfectly in the sense of like the shoulder line is bang where my shoulders is. I normally get things oversized. It's not a bad length, like the length of it's really nice. Obviously my waistband starts there. It's a good like six inch from my waistline. So the length's fine. I don't know if they're meant to be more fitted because obviously it's a quite vintage s looking brand. And I've seen a lot of people wearing these like super tight with like super cool denim jeans so I don't know if that's just the vibe of the brand but like the arm like tightness and stuff I don't know I don't know if I'd prefer it bigger I don't think I would actually I think it's meant to be worn slightly tighter like a more 80s feel you know I really like the print I think it's really really cool anyway I'm gonna try the rest of this stuff on it's so funny every time I go to try on a new outfit and show you guys I have to post Tana Mojo dressing like a clown and think do I actually look like a clown like I really really like this I don't know why I like this but I really think it's quite cool I don't know if it's my vibe or if it's my vibe that I'm trying to achieve But I'm not sure if I like this or not. I mean, it's cool. It's comfy. I like the fit of it, but is this me? I'm trying to think, would I actually wear this? I'd like to think I would, and it's very like the vibe that I've been following right now on Instagram and stuff But it doesn't have pockets either. So I'm just kind of like, hmm, do I want to keep it? I don't know. It's cool. Is it cool? So I've just sat and wrote Anna's card out. Obviously we got her the Billie Eilish card with the Billie Eilish tickets as well. So I literally wrote, to Anna, happy birthday, ho. Remember when we said we didn't manage to get Billie tickets? Maybe we lied a little, save the day. Lots of love, Byron and Haz. And then I don't have a printer. So we're gonna print out the actual tickets and just hand her a piece of paper. Um, so I just drew a little ticket instead. So yeah. That's the situation, that is all done. So I'm gonna give her that on Friday, but I just wanted to get it done and out of the way so I know that I've done it and it's all ready to rock and roll. So I would quickly just show you what's in this parcel. I've not actually looked in it myself, but I saw Anastasia unbox this on her story this morning. So, like I said, in a couple of days, I'm heading to Thought Park, oh my God. I'm heading to Thought Park in a couple of days with Boots and this is from Boots and um, let me just reorganize this because it may have got a little bit messed up in the post. It's literally like an autumnal reef full of Boots products. So as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff in here. Obviously. 
honestly, a lot of this stuff I don't actually use myself. Wait, what is this? But some of the stuff, this is an eyeliner. Some of the stuff I actually will add to my like little wash bag of stuff. As you know, I like to play around with a few products. Dear Byron, here's a little something to inspire you to get your freak on this Halloween. Whether you vamp it up with one of our hottest new launches, Morphe, or you choose to have a pamper night in with Disney's favourite villains, we wish you the spookiest of Halloweens. Love, Boots. Oh wow, I love how they put Boots. That is so funny. P.S. The packaging is 100% recyclable. We love that. We stand. And then also, in here is my little ticket to um, the little Fright Night thing that's happening at Thought Park. So that is all fun. Thank you so much, Boots. I'm really excited to go to this. Look at us. She just walked in like this. She brought me a coffee home though. Look how cute. Wow. We stand. Just spill it everywhere. Oh, that's what was dripping down me. I thought that was the rain. So that's just my coffee. Right, I've literally been editing this one video for literally like a week and I don't know what it is about it that I'm not liking. Um, I'm basically editing a bunch of YouTubers videos. I saw a trend where people were editing, or re-editing should I say, Peppa Pig episodes. And I thought it were really, really funny. So I thought I'd put my own little spin on it and re-edit YouTubers first videos. Now I've been doing it for literally the past week and there's just something about it that I'm not liking. I think it's because I'm trying to find it hard to get a balance between trying not to offend anyone or like look like I'm mocking them people. And then actually like making it entertaining, which is really difficult because um... I can't really do that, so I'm, I'm trying. I'm gonna sit down again now and just have a little run through. I've got myself some Pringles. I'm gonna sit here, eat these. I'm probably getting no further, but that's what I'm doing in my life. So I'll chat to you, hopefully when I've made progress. I need to turn my hair again, because it's gone yellow. Hey. Has? are you sending any of your Halloween costumes back? She ain't got any page. So I forgot that I were vlogging today because all I've done is sat on my laptop since I said this morning that I were gonna edit the YouTubers like video thing. I basically sat for hours and hours and hours, edited the rest of it, filmed the intro, filmed the outro, literally did it all, uploaded it, and I've literally just finished uploading it now. So I just made myself some food and then I sat on my bed like, oh, I were vlogging earlier today, so now we're back. Hi everyone, it is now like, what time is it? It is currently half past nine. It feels so much later than that, but my room is an actual state. So if you remember my room at the beginning of the vlog wasn't too messy. Well, how times have changed, boys and girls. This is all rubbish. This needs to go in the bin. Don't know what this is. It needs to sort that out. That's all stuff that I got that I need to like figure out who's having that because I don't need it. Um, yeah. So that's fun. Love that. You'll also be so glad to know that I have done no uni work today, which is really fun. I just nearly fell over. I've been feeling really dizzy today. Like I don't know what's wrong with me, and not like Tana Mojo type dizzy. Like actually, like keep standing up and like going lightheaded type of dizzy. I don't know what the situation is with that, but um, it's really annoying. Also, if you're wondering why I just sat on my chair then to get back off it, it was too high, so I couldn't push it under the desk. But <gasps> that's all sorted. I'm gonna go into the kitchen and see what all the gang's doing. Last night I woke the fuck up. What is everyone doing in here? I don't know. I'm going to bed because you've given me an illness. Eggs. <laughs> Still an illness, not the one that we were thinking of though. Right, it's literally wobbling. This table's wobbling. <laughs> really wobbling. How's this table wobbles 24 7? Yeah, because that's why like we can't on it. cut stuff. Oh my god, the first meal we had, we cut something and our drinks fell everywhere. It's always wobbled. I think it helps you sit on it. I don't think I'm just over here minding my business. So guys, how's everyone's life been for my vlog? Mm. <laughs> Do I look like I'm thriving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm ending this. Ravioli, ravioli. No, that's hot. <laughs> Never mind. Point of view, Hansel <laughs> and Gretel. You're Hansel and I'm putting you in the oven. <laughs> 